Welcome everyone and this is a new video series by Clone Trooper X39. This video series is going to be me reviewing my fig barfs. And what a figure barf is, is you make four or more custom figures in one picture. You normally post it to Flickr and this one is posted to Flickr just like you see here. But I'm going to be going over each figure, um, who made the parts, where I got the parts from, and yeah, so let's get started. So, uh, first I'll just name off the figures from left to right. We have a German um, soldier. We have a lightweight urban attack unit soldier. We have a futuristic Assassin's Creed assassin. And on the right, we have an urban kind of Iraqi soldier, even though we're not fighting in Iraq anymore. Still, okay, so let's get started going with the German. So basically, for the German, these all have hex stands, um, bought off GIBrick.com or from conventions. Um, so basically, um, on this figure, you have a, from top to bottom, you have a tan cell helm. You have a flesh head, I believe is from a um, speed racer set, a really old speed racer set. We have an Eclipse graphic sand green German torso, custom printed, and it is double sided there. And while we're on the back here, we have a Brick Arms Reloaded Car 98K in silver and brown overmold. We have a white Lego rubber band holding that on there. And another weapon he has is a Brick Arms Reloaded STG 44 and German Stick Grenade or Potato Masher as they call it. Um, again, overmolded. These two are overmolded gunmetal and brown. Um, then, if, don't know if you can see in there, but in there we have my custom printed legs by um, X39 Brick Customs in sand green. And that is the German's figure, or soldier, whatever you want to call it. So let's go on to the lightweight attack unit. So basically this figure has a lot more stuff to it. We'll go top to bottom again. I'm actually going to move these figures out of the way. So basically... For this figure, we have a hex stand, of course, from GI Brick. We have a GI Brick Delta Op helmet with a printed crosshair on there. We have a flesh head. Do not know where that flesh head has come from. We have a tiny tactical gas mask. Um, for the torso, I don't know if you can tell, it's a GI Brick um, Delta Operative um, torso. And that vest is from Minifig Cat, and I custom modded it, so I cut out the middle area. Um, then for the arms, we have Eclipse Graphics Apocalypse Drifter arms, which are like tattoo arms. And then for the sleeves there, we have Tiny Tactical Sleeves. Um, for the gun, we have a Brick Arms Reloaded 1911 in gunmetal and brown. And then for the hips, we just have some Lego hips. And then for the legs, we have a Eclipse Graphics Butcher legs from that figure. So that is the attack unit lightweight soldier. Next, let's go on to the futuristic Assassin's Creed. Okay, so this figure I love and a lot of other people like it. Link in the description below to the Flickr pictures on this. So basically, we'll start with the weapons. He has two Brick Arms Reloaded Tomahawks. One in silver handle, gunmetal tip. The other in white and gunmetal tip. The silver ones are really rare because... Um, they're hard to inject. Um, we have a custom painted by Eclipse Graphics or Victor Fernandez. Um, it is a white hood. We have a Citizen Brick um, Baklava head, I believe it's called. Um, and then as the torso here, it's an old Brick Arms Modern Combat torso. And then we have a rubber band that I kind of did a cross thing there just to add some detail. Then the pouches in front are brick forged pouches in white. And then going down lower, we have some Solid Brick Studios custom printed legs in white. And then we have on the holsters there, we have two rubber bands holding it on each side. We have two Brick Arms Reloaded 1911s with um, black grips and white um, frames. So that is the Assassin's Creed figure. Again, hex stand supplied by Gia Brick. They did not endorse this, so I did buy that. So everything here I've accumulated, bought, or traded for. 
So let's get on to the last figure of this figure barf review. And that is the Urban Iraqi Soldier. So I like this figure a lot. It's a desert figure which are always neat. Um, so we have the um, Clips Graphics head. We have a custom printed Citizen Brick Modern Combat Helmet um, by Brick Arms. Um, Citizen Brick printed it, but Brick Arms supplied it. Um, Minifig Cat Goggle covers. Tiny Tactical Vest in dark tan with a two mag pouch on the front. I stuck it on with a little putty. Um, we have on the back here, um, Tiny Tactical Sleeves in dark tan. A Minifig Cat watch there, custom painted by T. Kaplan on Flickr. Um, he gave that to me as a gift. On the back we have a Tiny Tactical Backpack. Um, then down to the hips we have a holster by Minifig Cat. Kind of a whole belt unit there as you can see. And it is holstering a Brick Arms Reloaded 1911 in silver titanium grip and gunmetal um, body. Then we have a, on the front his main assault weapon is the Brick Arms Reloaded M16A1 in black and gunmetal. And then down below we have this um, custom printed Clips Graphics Combat Pants in tan. And then of course we have the hex stands um, bought off GI Brick. So overall for this figure barf I think it turned out really good. So thanks for watching guys. Those are the figures. Um, that's where you get all the stuff from. And check out my Flickr. Link in the description below for the full picture. And I will see you guys later. Peace.